Hi guys, welcome back. This is just a quick video about um, stepper drivers. Um, it's what I've recently discovered. Something that's holding my uh, printer back from producing really good results. I mean it produces okay, but I want them a lot better. And something that's holding me back is the stepper drivers. Um, I have these DRV 8825s, which is what I've started off in with an MKS board um, and this is probably what I might be using or getting something even better than these and the reason being is I've found an issue uh, when running slowly Marlin particularly uh, has a bit of a stepping jerking moment going on with the extruder and that's preventing me from getting really good extrusion at, l at slow speed so uh, I can get good prints but obviously the speed changes throughout the print and at certain speeds, generally the slow ones, the, the extrusion just fails or is either too much or it's not enough, it's just not consistent and I've decided to look into it a bit further. Um, it doesn't really matter what my extrusion, uh, sorry, what my acceleration settings are. So as you can see there I've, uh, sorry let me just kill the flash with my finger. You know I've taken the travel speed and the acceleration settings down rather a lot just to try and see if it's to do with acceleration. Um, it's not to do with that. What I should do is I'll just show you what actually happened. So this is Pronterface and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude 10 mil at 5 mil per min. So really slow. So I'm up to temperature already, I'm going to extrude. Now watch this motor there. Can you see that erratic jump in motion? Now the steps are stepping sequentially and I've set the amps up on the DRV8825 with the potentiometer to about an amp and you can it's starting to get to the point where you can hear the coil squealing so this motor isn't designed for much more than an amp so it's, it's starting to get warm it's only just been running but you can see the motion it's not entirely smooth it's hard to see up close you can see it's rotating now bearing in mind that's with no load on it whatsoever it's just turning with a zip tie on there as soon as you put a load on that that swinging pendulum effect where it snaps into a into a full step is a lot worse when there's a load on there now this isn't my drive motor, it's too small. This is what I started off with as my extruder drive and that's what I've gone to now. So a much bigger stepper. Now this improved things somewhat but still at slow speed there's an issue um, and this will jump into the full step. So it tries to micro step but it jumps into a full step. Turn in the potentiometer, the, the potentiometer right up to get high current, so one and a half, nearly two amps on this, um, it still jumps. Uh, now the, the micro stepping is set up to 32 micro steps, and that is you know the largest NEMA 17 you can get almost. It's a 60 mil long, uh, rated for one and a half amps, with cooling on and uh, with a 24 volt power supply trimmed to 25 volts so plenty of cut power plenty of voltage well supplied in terms of cable and it's not a voltage issue it's not a current issue you, like i say i can trim that up to one and a half amps that will still jump in marlin when running slowly it kind of ticks over like this like this one does now a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, it's this, it's that, it's current, oh, it's Marlin acceleration settings, it's it's your jerk settings. Well, I've tried, prob I've spent days and days trying to get this 
to fig figure out what this actually is. I've tried a different board, I've tried different drivers with heat sinks, without. I've trimmed the current up and down. I've, I've done everything I can. I've changed these from maxed right out so it's 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 just stupidly fast to really slow so it's stupidly slow. And no, th this will still skip steps. And it doesn't matter what that's set to. Now I apologise my camera's all over the place but I... I wanted to be able to move around because I needed to show something and demonstrate what I've found. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay, here are two identical motors. They're, they are the same. They are identical motors. Just to demonstrate, you can see. Come on, camera. 340822B. Same as that one, 340822B. They are the same stepper motor. This one is connected to the board and is driven by the by the DRV8825 on 32 micro stepping, set at about one an amp, 1.1 amps. This one is connected to this separate driver. A cheap micro step in driver wired to this power supply set at 25 volts and uh, basically the control is wired into the same pins that pull on the main stepper so basically it's a copy of that so when this one steps this one steps the only difference is that one is driven by an 8825 this one is driven by this larger stepper driver which these are cheap six seven pound off eBay so let's see if there's a performance difference okay bearing in mind this one is 25 volts this one is 25 volts both independent power supplies nothing to interrupt or change the performance both being stepped at the same time so let's see what happens so I'm going to extrude, make that a bit more, 20 mil extrude. Now you tell me if you notice anything different. Obviously the cable tie amplifies that jutter. That's the reason why I've put a long cable tie on the shaft because it it highlights the jutter a lot easier. It's hard to see when it's small. Now, someone might be sat there saying, well, why does that matter? That's not going to affect it. Well, like I say before, this is without any load whatsoever. No load whatsoever. When you put load on it, that jutter will increase. That snapping into a step increases. Yet look at this one same motor and anyone who thinks it's the cabling no it's not the cabling I've got loads of servo cable stepper cables they're all tested it's not a stepper it's not a cable it's not a circuit board issue it's not a lack of steps we can see the steps let's hide this we can see the step in oh, sorry no you can't this is too blooming bright you can see the step pulses Sorry. You can see them there. Now they're not perfect, but you're not going to get perfect out of an Arduino at 5 volts. But they're there and they are in sync and in time. Not missing any and not out of step. Hence that's why this one is moving s smoothly. And this one unfortunately isn't so I mean originally I thought this was yep yeah, it's the graphic LCD display it's causing a pause nope it's not the graphic LCD display I can turn the graphic LCD display off not install the uglib library 
not install or initiate the SD card, that still happens. It's stopped now. Let's extrude again. Yep, so it's not the graphic LCD display because I've totally removed the code from um, Marlin and then uploaded it. Obviously the graphic display doesn't work um, and yeah, that still that jutter still happens. It is the micro step in driver. It is these DR8825 drivers. The other thing we can do, which is a bit crude because it's not the best meter in the world, but I can measure the current on this one device. Now what you'll see is at times it does peak to just over one amp. Now that's that one pulling just over one amp. The motor is vibrating. I can hear it clicking. I can hear it almost knocking each time it comes to the end of that stroke of, of movement because obviously it's all done in small increments to get through each step. Well, this motor is getting hot. This motor is making noise and it's making vibration. This motor is pulling not even a quarter of an amp. It's making hardly any noise and it's not missing a step. That is perfectly smooth in step finding each micro step as it goes along and is not snapping into a full step. That is a total different characteristic to that stepper. Yet the only thing different is the driver. So uh, yeah, if anyone has got any light to shed on this, what I've discovered, if they think it's something else, then hell, I'll try anything. So yeah, if, if you think there's something else I've missed, then please let me know. Um, let, leave a comment and I shall investigate and I shall put another video up. But this is what I've discovered so far and it's a kind of the limitation of a simple driver package like this trying to do um, micro stepping. Um, I haven't tried it down at 60, 16 micro stepping, this is all at 32 so perhaps it's not so severe at 16 micro stepping but yeah I mean even if I turn the current on this right up to this starts to squeal that still steps over, this overheats and eventually the driver shuts off. So even if I turn it all the way down so it's minimal current it barely moves and at some points it misses complete steps. Whereas that set on the lowest, one of the lowest amperage settings on this it is it doesn't miss a step. So I see that as a potential for not for holding back anyone who's running a printer really and this is your extruder the most important part of, of any printer not that I'm an expert but it will be the extruder if the extruder isn't producing plastic in the right places at the right time obviously then yeah you're going to have problems aren't you and that's what's holding me back um, apart from I haven't finished it it's still a mess um, <laughs> I've made a little hood for it to keep the heat in uh, I've modified my water cooling a little bit, I've modified the head slightly, I've modified the Iger's bearings, um, there's lots I've done that doesn't really show up yet and I haven't put any videos up about what I've done but yeah I, I mean for instance here's a print a very close up of the last print I was trying to print as slow as I could. Now what originally set me down this path was switching on um, filament advance for Bowden drives. Obviously I've got a Bowden tube, Bowden tube, whatever you call it. Obviously my filament is fed, it's fed down here, comes up through the tube and obviously there is slack. Now originally I had some tight spots in my water cooling path where the, the, the heat break went through. Now those tight spots 
was producing back pressure on this, on the filament. Well, they re-machined re everything and basically um, reamed everything and polished everything and, re and shortened the distance between the cold spot and the hot spot, removed all the sticking points and this became totally so easy to feed the filament through it would just glide through all the way to the nozzle if the nozzle was hot it was no restriction whatsoever and that then made my prints worse and the reason it made my prints worse is because there was no back pressure to um, to dampen that motion now obviously that doesn't seem a lot but I mean uh, when I speed this up, let me I'll connect again, let me try and speed that up, let's try 30 and extrude now see there is a total difference to how those two motors are performing and like I say, if the minute you put some backlash or put some torque on those motors and put their pressing against the extruder, that that was I can tell that is in my print and it's missing steps. So I'm going to try running my printer with one of these and uh, see if that improves things. If it does, I shall post another video. Well, I will post another video anyway. But yeah, I mean. I'm just a little bit confused. I thought that these things were okay, but maybe not as good as what we all think they are. I'm not sure. Perhaps perhaps I'm looking at it a little bit too close. I don't know. I'd, I'd like some feedback and see what anyone else thinks. Like I say, I've checked most things. Um, yeah, so this is what I found and this is what I'm hopefully uh, going to try and sort out and I think that's probably what I'll end up using to sort it out unless there is another way of smoothing that out or getting rid of that juddery motion so uh, yeah okay thanks for watching guys sorry it's been a bit longer a video than I was originally planning but it's, um, it's one of those things that there's, there's a few things to explain about how I come to derive what I've derived and yeah, it's, it confused me for a little while because I thought it was all within the slicer settings or within the firmware settings. Um, you know, I, I tried the um, the linear advance and the advanced settings in the slicer to see if, sorry, in Marlin to see if they improved that and they just made it worse. So, yeah, I think the problem I'm having is, I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's something else combined with this, I don't know, but I'm having some issues with extrusion being nice and smooth and steady. And uh, this is something I've come up against. And like I say, just the fact that, I mean, this motor is really hot. Just the fact this is hot, I can hear it squealing. Where's the microphone? Hear it squealing. Let's do it to this one. I mean, nowhere near as loud, and yeah, I mean, this one's still ice cold. That one's, I'd say, well, it's got to be about 40, 44, 44, 45 degrees, I'd say, somewhere around there. And that's, you know, it's only been running for a few minutes on that bench. So, yeah, any, any comments, please put them back, you know, put them up and. Uh, thumbs up thumbs down whatever you want it doesn't really matter any feedbacks better than none for me at the moment like I'm pretty new to this 3d printing lark in the first place um, but yeah there's a few things I'm discovering that's holding me back from producing better prints so uh, yeah any help any assistance would be appreciated um, failing that I shall post another video of my progress in a day or two thanks guys bye bye